We have now some breaking news for you. Online sales in the United States topped $1 billion for the first time this Cyber Monday. That is a 16% gain on last year and more than double the 2005 number, according to data compiled by Comscore. For more on Cyber Monday's success, I'm joined by Comscore Chairman Jan Falgoni. Jan, uh, thanks for joining us. $1 billion. Did you expect that this time around? Uh, we thought that it might happen. Um, it, it was going to take about a 13 percent increase uh, over last year's figure uh, to crack the billion dollar level. And at the rate that sales have been coming in in November, it looked very much like that was going to happen. So we're delighted to see it uh, to see it actually occur. So what happened here? How did we go get over the edge? Well, I, I think clearly one of the main drivers of this buying is that the retailers have been very, very aggressive this year. They've been running probably about 20 percent more promotions um, even prior to Thanksgiving than they did last year, according to Shop Local, a company here in Chicago. So they're promoting heavily, they're discounting heavily, and they're running those promotions earlier in the season. And that boosted the growth rate from a level of about 9 percent that we've been seeing coming out of uh, October to levels of 13 percent here in, in, in the month of November and then 16 percent on Cyber Monday. So w what we really don't know yet, as encouraging as these numbers are, mm -hmm. is the degree to which all of this promotion activity has actually been pulling consumer buying ahead and um, right. you know we'll, we'll, we'll see as, as the season goes on if uh, if uh, sales remain at the levels that we're seeing uh, today well in fact we just showed a picture of one website where where they were talking about cyber week exactly the point you're talking about uh, as we go forward does cyber Monday become less and less important because you're going to see promotions uh, coming out earlier and earlier well, if we look back at last year, what happened is that there was heavy promotion at the early in the season, not as heavy as it's been this year. But then we went through a little bit of a lull for the first week or so of December, and then the promotion started coming in heavy again. And I suspect that the consumers probably have figured this out by now. And certainly they, they, they're, they're, they're reacting to the offers that are being put in front of them. But I've got my fingers crossed that we'll see when all is said and done, that we'll see a season here which uh, which is showing a growth rate of about 11 percent versus a year ago. 11 percent. OK. How does that compare pre-recession? Uh, well, pre-recession, if we go back, uh, uh, let's say, five years, we were running at levels of 20 percent, but okay. obviously growing from, from a smaller base. But uh, last year, sales were up 4 percent. The year before that, they were down marginally with all of the uh, economic problems. So 11 percent looks great. And then if you compare it to what's happening or predicted to happen at retail, uh, the NRF is predicting a growth rate of only about 2.3 percent. So we're looking at a, an online growth rate that's a factor of about four to five times greater, greater than retail. So right. I don't think we can complain about it at all. No, no. All indicators show that it looks like the economy and the consumer are recovering, at least this time around. Jan, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Jan Falgoni of Comscore.